apologize. My voice is going on me a little bit. So, obviously, congratulate Iowa. They're a heck of a team. Um, you know, I thought we were fighting early in the game. We forced them into some turnovers. And then, you know, their athleticism and depth, I thought, wore us down as the game went on. And, and certainly our foul trouble hurt us, you know, having Crawford and Cobb get in, seri in the whole lot, you know, get in serious foul trouble. We had to manage that most of the game, and it, it affected some of the aggressiveness that we could play with. But, you know, a lot of the credit goes to Iowa. They're a heck of a team, and they play really well together. And I thought they wore us down as the game went on. So I'm open for questions. How did their length affect what you were able to do consistently? Yeah, well, you know, it's one thing to see it on tape. It's another thing to see it, you know, up close and personal. They're big at every position, and they're very active. And because of their depth, they're able to keep fresh guys in the game, which is a big advantage, especially when, you know, the rigors of the Big Ten season. So, you know, we were out, we were outsized at every position. So, you know, that little bit of contesting a shot or, a shot around the basket or, you know, just little things getting in a passing lane. That little bit of disruption throws you off your game a little bit, and they're, they're very good at then turning those plays into, deep, into transition. And uh, they're as good as it gets in our conference of pushing the ball and scoring in transition. Foul trouble aside, how would you describe Cobb's effectiveness in terms of being able to get points and allow you to stay in it for a while? Then? Yeah, he was much better tonight, and he'd been struggling. You know, he hurt his ankle. A few weeks ago, he missed a couple games. I didn't think he'd been the same since he's been back. Tonight, I thought he had his bounce back. He was aggressive. Uh, he scored the ball for us. And, you know, our thing is we really haven't had Cobb and Crawford play well together. Mm -hmm. You know, we've had one of them have a real good night. We really haven't had both of them going on the same night. And, you know, for us, our, mer our margin for error is very small. So, you know, when we, we need our good players to play really well. Uh, we need to make open shots. We got to finish when we get around the basket. We got to make free throws, and you know I thought every time we had a chance to kind of get ourselves back in the game, we would shoot ourselves in the foot with some turnovers or, or missing some some open shots. Coach, zero assists in the first half. Yeah. It seemed like you guys were driving at every opportunity. Was that the plan going in? Yeah, but we wanted to kick the ball. You know, I, I uh, it was something I wasn't happy with at halftime. I I, I liked the fact we were driving because we knew they were going to come after us with pressure. So we didn't want to get on our heels. We wanted to rip through and drive the ball. But then when people helped, we wanted to share it and kick. We did a much better job of that in the second half, and we got a lot better shots. And that's one of the reasons why we scored 41 in the second half. The first half, we weren't kicking. We were taking very difficult shots off the dribble, and that's just not who we are. We're going to have a very, very low success rate if we're doing that. Anything else for Coach? Thank you guys.